In the enigmatic and perilous world of John Wick, a universe shrouded in shadows and governed by a clandestine society of assassins, an intriguing peculiarity exists the ubiquitous use of a singular currency, the coin. Within this clandestine realm, where every step could be one's last and alliances are as fickle as the wind, the enigmatic one-coin system serves as a symbol of both power and discretion that I in the John Wick universe. The one-coin concept is more than a mere financial transaction. It is a trenched in the clandestine profession of contract killing. The coin transcends traditional currency, becoming a universal token of trust, respect, and silent complicity among the shadowy figures that populate this covert society. The one coin ethos is a testament to the unwritten rules that govern this covert world. It speaks to a level of mutual understanding and adherence to a set of principles that bind the assassins together. In a realm where trust is a rare commodity and alliances are forged in the crucible of danger, the one coin becomes the unspoken contract, the currency of loyalty. This singular currency also plays a role in maintaining the secrecy that veils the clandestine operations within the John Wick universe. By adhering to a standardized, one coin system, Wick Universe, the one coin serves as more than just a means of exchange. It is a silent testament to the unspoken rules, the alliances formed in the shadows, and the discretion that defines a world where survival hinges on a razor thin edge. What's up with those gold coins? In 2014's John Wick, what audiences thought was just Kinu Reeves' version of Death Wish centered on a mysterious assassin with a skill set that would make Taken's Liam Neeson blush turned out to be an action movie with its its own mythos when those coins show up. John Wick and its sequels peel back the curtain on that mythology, revealing that this shadowy world of crime syndicates and well-armed enforcers is an international agency that uses these concierges to doctors even the poor. But scary-looking guys in charge of disposing of bodies are seemingly only paid with these special coins instead of real money. The gold coins in this culture allow these mers and others to acquire goods. You want a hotel room for the night to escape the trigger happy? Vaguely European murderers on your tail? That'll be one gold coin, please. Looking to upgrade your arsenal with a grenade launcher or six? Places elaborately decorated gold coin share. More importantly, these coins exceed the value of the physical items they buy, for they act as a toll one pays to travel through and amongst this secret society with their honor and safety intact. The act of paying with these coins provides a sense of security as even killers have a code of conduct, and those in John Wick's line of work are mostly strict adherents of it. This adherence stems from the fact that, as we learn in John Wick, Chapter 2, the hotel network John and his fellow assassins use, the Continental, is the main banking hub for Wickba. Killing of any kind on Continental grounds is verboten and punishable by death and slash, or being excommunicado from all services and protections afforded this underworld of gun-few enthusiasts. The Continental Hotel Network is also equal parts an ATM and customs for assassins passing through and in between assignments. It's responsible for keeping coins and those that spend them in circulation. And who is responsible for the Continental and the governing of this world? They are known as the High Table, which the filmmakers have described as a governing body that is older and bigger than any other in history, which explains why it operates above the law and under no jurisdiction the coinage, as everything in the Continental costs one single coin. From a drink at the bar to requesting a doctor to patch up your wounds, it can be all yours for the price of the gold in your tailored pockets. But why does a variety of goods and services cost the same amount? How is that at the benefit of this mysterious cabal? Again, the operatives and personnel are paying for the privilege of a code of conduct they cannot get anywhere else. This practice is priceless and worth more than any monetary amount, but the value is signified in the transaction of gold coins. Real money digital or otherwise has no real meaning or value to this subculture other than it gives oxygen to the very dangers the organization has spent centuries insulating itself from. With stacks of cash comes the risk and invitation of vice. As cliché as the saying honor among thieves is, those under the high table's purview take it literally. That's why this economy full of deadly contract killers and network of switchboard operators relies on their special coins because they offer that which silver briefcases full of dough cannot trust, honor, and loyalty. The coin and the persons on either side of its transaction 
communicate that you and all you represent are in good hands, that whatever safety and integrity one seeks from the high table as an institution will be found as long as one honors the whole no-killing where you eat company policy. With that philosophy in mind, the rules of John Wick's culture become more clear. Why does a gun cost as much as a drink? Or a favor? Because in this world, those things are only worth what the purchaser brings to the table. And what they bring is all they are, symbolized in the form of a coin. But there are still some fuzzier aspects to High Table Economics 101. For example, the value of the contract that is placed on John Wick's head is in you. S. Dollars. This strongly implies that our world's currency has some weight in this one. Perhaps gold coins can be exchanged for real? folding money? We don't even want to try and figure out the exchange rate there. We know from John's time in civilian life that he and his late wife bought gas and groceries. We see John do the former in his first film. Surely he and his peers have access to American money way with gold murder tokens. Coins can also signify collateral for more intangible things, like when someone asks for a service or a favor. When John seeks medical care from a doctor in John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum, with only an hour on the clock before he is officially excommunicado, he does so by offering the doc a coin. In this instance, the coin is used like some kind of chit or blood marker. The doctor is unable or unwilling to break his code by refusing to accept the coin John implores upon when you are at risk of expulsion, the high table's honor code extends until your final second is up.as dangerous as John Wick's shadowy world is. Its population of expertly trained marksmen and killers ensure it and their survival by honoring its code of conduct. Inclusion in the intricate tapestry of the John Wick universe, the enigma surrounding the singular currency, the one coin weaves a tale beyond the realms of traditional economics. As we delve into the clandestine emerges as a symbol of complexity, a thread connecting the denizens of shadows through shared values and silent complicity. The one coin significance lies not merely in its practicality, but in its role as a universal language among those entrenched in the perilous profession of contract killing. Its simplicity becomes a shield, enabling transactions to occur discreetly, shrouded in the secrecy that defines this covert society. This singular currency is not just a medium of exchange. It is a tool for survival in a world where discretion is the currency of the realm. Moreover, the one coin embodies trust and respect within the clandestine community. Each transaction becomes a pledge to the unspoken rules that govern their perilous existence. The shared use of this currency signifies a mutual understanding of the risks and challenges they face, fostering a sense of camaraderie in a world where alliances are fleeting and loyalty is paramount. The deliberate choice of a singular currency also serves as a narrative device, elevating the mystique surrounding the assassins. It transforms economic transactions into cultural practices, emphasizing the exclusivity and sophistication of their hidden society. Based on what we think is worthy, subscribe to our Sulub Splash so that you don't miss any future updates. If you have more about it, please feel free to share them with us. Share them in the comments below and wait for our interesting topics coming soon. If you think they deserve to be on this list, share your opinion in the comments below.